Hi there. So today we are going to solve a problem regarding find whether an array is subset of another array. You can approach this problem with multiple methods like sorting or even brute force, binary search. But today our aim is to solve this question in linear time complexity. So we are going to use a method of hashing. How are we going to use this method of hashing? Uh, so let's say you are given two array and we are going to create a hash set and we'll save all the elements of array one and as you know hash set will only save the unique elements so once we save all the unique elements of array one we will go through all the elements of array two and see whether they exist in the hash set or not if not then we know that the second array is not the subset of first array right so let's see how it will happen First, we will create a hash set. So, so in this hash set, we will save all the unique elements of array one. So, for that, we need to first iterate through all the elements of array one. So let's save the length of both the arrays in a variable. In this case, m is the length of array one. So and n is the length of array two. And now we will go through all the elements of array one. So for We will see that if this has set has the element of array one or not. So it contains array one of i. If it doesn't contain, that means we need to add it in the hash set. So we'll just add that as element directly. So now as you can see, we saved all the elements of array 1 in a hash set and now we will iterate through all the elements of array 2 to figure out whether they exist in the hash set or not. So in this case, even if we find one case of that element not existing in the hash set, then we can safely return false. So if this element does not exist in the hash set, then you can directly return false. And if this loop successfully passed without returning false, that means all the elements were there in the hash set. So in that case, you can return true. So let's see how the time complexity will happen here. So here we iterate through all the elements of array 1. So uh, time complexity was order of m. And in this case, we iterate through all the elements of array 2. But it will be the minimum of m or n because hash set will not have all the elements. So in this case, the, for the worst case scenario, we will assume that either it will be order of m or order of n. But even if it is m or n, the complexity remains linear because order of m and in this case m or n. So let's do a dry run for the example that are given. In this case, array 1 has these elements. So we'll create let's say this is the hash set so it has 11 1 13 21 3 and 7 so we'll say that you know 11 1 13 21 3 and 7 and all these elements are saved in a hash set so they have a hashing attached to it so it can be searched in order of one so now if you go through 
this array 2 and see whether 11 exists? Yes, it does. 3 exists? Yes. 7 exists? Yes, it does. And 1 also there. So we can safely return this output as true. That means the output is yes. Let's see what happens in the second case. So in this case, we'll have a hash set of all the elements of array 1. So 10, 5, 2, 23, and 19. Now we'll go through all the elements of array 2. And we'll see 19, then yes, it does exist. 5, then yes, it does exist. And 3, then 3 does not exist. So we'll return false. So in this case, the answer will be false. Thank you.